This evening, I would like to share a, a portion of scripture uh, from the book of Romans, uh, actually the Romans 8. Uh, before I read the passage, if you want to turn to the book, uh, that will be a good time. But I take a few minutes to just to give an introduction about the book, which is very familiar to us. This is one of the greatest of the writings of Christian writings ever produced. Uh, its power and his uh, influence has demonstrated throughout the centuries. Uh, we, we know uh, St. Augustine in the early centuries was converted to Christianity, uh, to, to faith, uh, reading this book. And the reformers, uh, reformation leaders like uh, Martin Luther, John Calvin, and uh, uh, Ehrlich Swingley and the others were influenced by this book. We have heard that recently John Wesley was converted, uh, listening to a preface about, about this book written by Luther. So this book has been, uh, we as believers, it's a very familiar uh, book to us. We have heard many, many messages, and I myself may have taken time sharing with you uh, some of the uh, things from uh, the same book and the same chapter. But this time, I thought uh, I may be repeating some of the things, but this is how I, 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 I have uh, come to the conclusion to share that thing with you today. In the past, many times, um, things were, uh, I learned from my uh, reading and my uh, studies, but things have changed in the last uh, maybe a year, more than a year. It is more from the heart you can speak than from your knowledge. Uh, that makes a whole big difference. You can personally attest, personally see how the Holy Spirit, how God is working in different circumstances in the people's lives. We all experience that time and again. But it's always good to remind ourselves how faithful, how gracious our God is. And that is the part that I want to share with you uh, this evening. Uh, this, in the uh, talking about the Romans again, the one thing repeated in this book is the uh, 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 Paul is saying is everything about God and Holy Spirit. The emphasis about the Holy Spirit is very profound here. The word spirit appears about 34 times in the book of Romans, of which 22 times are in the chapter 8. Only book that has more references uh, to uh, spirit is the book of Acts. Other than that, the chapter 8 of Romans as if you take one chapter, that is the highest number of uh, the chapter, any book, any chapter, the uh, highest number of references about spirit in one chapter. So this book has a, some effective way of dealing with human need and the relationship with the God. Because the emphasis is, if someone is a living Christian, he wants to remind us, Anything to do with the flesh or everything that we commit again as a sin, it is a sin against God. So Paul is reminding us again and again, we need to have a life wholly in the sight of God. That is the uh, most important uh, factor that Paul wants to establish in, in terms of writing this book. With that, I would like to read the, the portion of the scripture. It's taken from Romans chapter 8. I'm going to read from verses 12 through 18. Roma Lekan and Pandandamat Etamatiaim, Pandandamudal, Padan Tiriola Waking Aljan Waikin. I'm going to read it from the New King James Version. If you could uh, open your books and uh, a Bible and read it with me. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, but to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. 
for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and join heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. I'm sure many of our brothers and sisters uh, can uh, recite uh, the chapter 8 or maybe many portions of the book of Romans by heart from memory. I have not gone to that far yet, but uh, this is a very familiar passage, a very dear passage to me. And I thought maybe I share some thoughts uh, which, which we are very familiar with. I may not be saying anything new tonight. But it has really touched my heart again, reading this scripture uh, in the last few weeks. I want to share with you, there are three privileges Paul is mentioning through this chapter. Three privileges. There are three of them. He is explaining them. The first privilege that we have is that we are adopted into the family of God. So we must produce the family character. We are adopted to a family. So we, our responsibility is we adapt to the character of that family, the heavenly family. Run down with the privilege. Second privilege is there is an assurance that we are children of God. We are all belong to that family and to the same father. And we, because of that relationship, we have the right to cry out, Abba, Father, to the Heavenly Father, anytime we have a need, or anytime. Thirdly, there is a privilege that we have an inheritance. We are heirs. We are heirs with the Christ Jesus, our older brother. But, Paul is reminding us that inheritance, it might cost something, but there is a suffering that would be associated with that. Namada kashtadil kudayana, namada pradhivala namaka lebhikinna nolada. Paul wants to remind us, namada manasala kirikana. If you read through this chapter, there is one thing is very, very familiar. As I said, we all feel, belong to the family of God. That is the whole purpose of the Holy Spirit's work. If you look very carefully, we can see something. There is a family connection here. There are terminologies, the, the words used, the vocabulary used is uh, 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 depicts or shows. This is all family. Look at verse 12. Be, uh, uh, Paul is calling the, uh, the people in uh, believers in Rome, brethren. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors. Look at verse 14. Those who are led by the Spirit of God, those are sons of God. We are sons of God. Verse 15. We are not given the bondage again to fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Verse 16. Uh, we are children of God. Verse 17. And if children, then heirs. Verse 19. Earnest expectation of the creation eagerly waits for the revealing of the sons of God. Verse 21. At the last part of it, the glorious liberty of the children of God. Verse 23. Within our, we are grown within ourselves, eagerly waiting for the adoption. That is the family situation. 
Then if you look at verse 29, the last part, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. So this chapter, this uh, uh, primarily this book itself, Paul is bringing a lot of family connection. That family connection, he wants us to realize that is with the Heavenly Father through the work of the, the, the spirit of adoption. When we talk about the spirit of adoption, I also want to mention one thing in the beginning. If you are just reading the Malayalam Bible, I just want to point out the, the topic that I'm talking today. You may not get that uh, phrases in the Malayalam book in the right way. Uh, maybe it is there, but it is uh, uh, hidden underneath. Uh, the spirit of adoption. Putratatindi Almav and Nana Malayalatil and Waik in the Enal Etharthamai, English to the Matula translation of Samukanam and Sadik in the The Spirit of Adoption. Ada either Putratutuleke, Name Death Almav in the Provartanam and the Namukanam and Adi Sadikim. Because we were not born in the family, we were adapted from the outside. We brought, was brought into the family. But we must become sons and daughters of the kingdom of heaven. This is the both of these are found in verse 15. And in that spirit of adoption, he says, But you uh, receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba Father. We cry out. We cry out. We cry out. We cry out. out. We cry 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 out. We We cry because we are adopted into the family of the Heavenly Father. Old Testament laws uh, never had uh, the any provision or anything, anyone calling the Father Heavenly Father. Devate, Father Apidavi and Vulikinai or Sangha, the Old Testament will not come. God's desire always has been that he wanted to live among the people. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 26, 11, if you look, we will see that God is telling Moses, I will set my tabernacle among you. And that the same language we can also see in the book of Revelation. Uh, when John is in the island of Patmos, in the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 3, we see, I heard a loud voice saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. So God's desire always has been to live with the people. He was the family person and all of the very clear right. But Jesus Christ is the person who when he came, he revealed to us the real identity of the heavenly God as the Father in heaven. Because then we should look at the Sermon on the Mount started from Matthew chapter 5 and also in chapter 6 in the, uh, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who was in heaven, God is with God wanted to, or Jesus wanted to reveal God himself as the Father, a family connection. That is the desire, that is one of the greatest accomplishments Jesus was able to make, revealing to us the true identity of the Heavenly Father to us, reveal Him who He is. 
that is the unique relationship only for those who are adopted into the family of God have the right to call him the father. Uh, look at the chapter 8 verse 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. How did we become sons and daughters of God? Apostle Paul explains that this, it is by the spirit of adoption that is we read in the verse 15. In the Old Testament laws, there is no provision for adoption. It is the a Roman uh, process that has brought into the adoption process into the in, in the world that we know today. In the Old Testament, there were only masters and slaves. All others were called Gentiles. But ancient Rome developed a method of adoption for various purposes. And by adoption, they were included in the inheritance. They were given inheritance. They were maintained into the family lineage. And so there was a continuity of the family. Sometimes the family was, was, did not have any children. So they have to adopt somebody from outside. And the adopted children, adopted individuals, took the name of the adopted family. They're reinforcing their adopted, the, the, the new identity of the adopted family. The adopted person becomes part of the family. Maybe the DNA is different. The genes are different. The characteristics are different. The looks are different. But they are now part of that family. When we come to the New Test or Old Testament, as we said before, we are, we are Gentiles. We were not Israel. We were not the chosen people. We did not have the commandments. We did not have the laws. We did not have the temple. No priest, no worship. Nothing that matters with what the God was in us. But we were just sinners living in the flesh. God in his mercy, eternal mercy, he opened up the heaven for us. His eternal parts, uh, 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 plan and mercy sends his son as our savior. And through his death and through his resurrection and through faith in him, we Gentiles, we were outside, we were people outside, lived in the flesh, lived in the sin. We were brought into the family of God. He adopted us, the Father adopted us into his family, gave us the identity, a new identity, a new life, a new perspective, a new vision. And it has happened because the work of the spirit of adoption. We were aliens. We had nothing to do with the God. We had nothing with the temple or the worship, worshiping of God. But God brought us through his eternal mercy, brought us into a new life. Paul is saying, those who are led by the spirit, we are now the sons and daughters of the heavenly father. So Paul is reminding us that we have a new identity now. No, 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 we are all family people. So the family is the basic unit that we have. Um, if I can talk about myself, the people who know me and my father always tells me, you look exactly like your father. And uh, many of you have come and told me when my brother, my old, a little older brother, uh, recently came visited our church, uh, you both look alike. So that is very common in us. Um, 
is some time ago when we were living in New York, our Stephen, we had a picture of our Stephen, our son, on the uh, our dining wall. He was about four or five years old. And those who have seen that picture and came and saw us in Florida after many years, 20, 30 years, there was another picture hanging in our, our house in Orlando, another picture. They come and say, oh, that is Stephen's picture. We said, no, that is not Stephen's picture. That was actually Stephen's son Silas's picture when he was four years old. So there is a lot of comparison identities when we are in the family. And we did not have that identity with anything with God. But God is in his mercy, brought us into his family. And the reason Paul is writing this is, the reason is, if we have come being adopted into the family of God, we need to show the characteristics of that heavenly father. A pare family of Sabhao Malla, who the a family like the Malay Kunduana, a David in the Snehate or to under a family behavior and character, Namade Jivatrunda Irikanam. Pantunda Badwan and Viking of Nord and Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, not to the flesh. We are in the new family now. We are not debtors to the flesh, that flesh means to sin not to flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. There is a comparison, there is a contrast to Paul is making. Living according to the flesh and you will die. But if you live according to the spirit, you will live. That is the message Paul wants to bring it to our attention again. We are adopted into a new family from another family. No, we know we are no longer living according to the flesh, according to the sin. But we are living because we adopted by the spirit of adoption. Our responsibility is that we live according to the spirit in the future. So they, we are all Pentecostal people. We are all born again believers. But I just wanted to bring to our attention, do we have that confidence? Day in, day out, our life is controlled by the spirit of adoption. Is there anything that, that is taking our attention away from the spirit that is within us? If we do not have that assurance, the Holy Spirit is warning us, where is the correction that we need to make? Why this is important? One of the early fathers have said it this way. If you do not kill sin from your life, sin will kill you. Let me say that one more time. If you do not kill sin or the flesh in your life, sin will kill you. Sin may give us pleasure for a little while, for a season. But God's plan for us eternity. So we do not want to compromise anything of a sinful nature. Maybe there are occasions that you mean 100% we may not be all pure life, holy life, but we have the blood of Christ to wash us from all our sins. And as so long as we are conscious about it and come back to the foot of the cross and say, Lord, forgive me, wash me thoroughly, the spirit of adoption, cleanse me, make me, bring me back as your son and daughter for you, give your life for me. 
ആ ഒരു തീരുമാനത്തിലേക്ക് ദിനംതോറും ജീവിക്കുവാൻ സാധിക്കുന്നുവെങ്കിൽ അതത്രേ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ആത്മാവ് നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ വി നീഡ് ടു നോ വി ആർ ബിൻ ബ്രോട്ട് ടു എ ന്യൂ ഫാമിലി ആൻഡ് വി മസ്റ്റ് അഡാപ്റ്റ് ദ ക്യാരക്ടറിസ്റ്റിക്സ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഫാമിലി ദി ഹെവൻലി ഫാമിലി രണ്ടാമത്തെ നമ്മുടെ പ്രിവിലേജ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വി ഹാവ് എൻ അഷുറൻസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് നമ്മൾ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ മക്കളാണ് ആ പതിനഞ്ച് പതിനാറ് വാക്യങ്ങളൊന്നും നോക്കിക്കാട്ടെ ഫോർ യു ഡിഡ് നോ റിസീവ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ബോണ്ടേജ് അഗെയിൻ ടു ഫിയർ ബട്ട് യു റിസീവ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് അഡാപ്ഷൻ ബൈ ഹൂം വി ക്രൈ ആവ് ആ ബാ ഫാദർ ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഇംസ് ഓഫ് ബേഴ്സ് വിറ്റ്നസ് വിത്ത് അവർ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ഹോൾ സെയ്സ് വി ഡിഡ് നോ റിസീവ് the spirit of slavery to fear but we received the spirit of adoption what is the proof the proof is the spirit of god himself is bearing witness with us with our own spirit that we are the children of god children of the heavenly father this is our confidence the confidence is there are two things come together in the old testament laws we read about a particular law that is we can find in deuteronomy uh, chapter 1915 deuteronomy 1915 ah manishar cheyna yadur agartathino paapathino avante nere eka saakshi nilkarudu രണ്ടോ മൂന്നോ സാക്ഷികളുടെ വാമൊഴികളാൽ കാര്യം ഉറപ്പാക്കേണം ബൈ ടു ഓർ ത്രീ പീപ്പിൾസ് വിറ്റ്നസ് തിങ്സ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് തിങ്സ് മസ്റ്റ് ബി എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ദ ട്രൂത്ത് മസ്റ്റ് ബി എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ് ബൈ ദ വിറ്റ്നസ് ബൈ ടു ഓർ ത്രീ പീപ്പിൾ ഹിയർ വി ഹാവ് ദ സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വി ക്യാൻ സി the spirit of adoption that spirit of god is witnessing with our spirit that we are children of god adana nammade assurance adana nammade confidence if there is any possibility in any particular circumstance the spirit of god and our spirit is not coming together and we did not have that confidence within us that i am a child of god i am a son of god i am a daughter of god we need to go back and re examine ourselves am i really being adopted into the family of god am i really a child of god that assurance we must have all the time it is only by that assurance we can put to death all the desires of the flesh our assurance undengil mathrame jeevithathil paavathinte daayulla kaaryangal ennu namukku vimojanam praabikkavanayittu saadhikkathullu do we have that confidence the spirit of god and our spirit are in agreement i think this calling term if we are children god is giving us the ability or the privilege to also call him the abba father when we become the children by adoption paul says we are brought into the family of god made and sons and daughters of the kingdom of god and he says then we can cry out abba father namakku vilikkuvan sadhikkunna oru peru abba father ennalladha നമ്മുടെ പിതാവി എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്ന പുത്രത്വത്തിൻ്റെ അവകാശം ദൈവം നമുക്ക് തന്നിരിക്കുന്നു അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് ഒരു കാര്യം നിങ്ങളെ ഓർപ്പിക്കാൻ ഞാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ഐ തിങ്ക് ദിസ് കോളിംഗ് ടേം ആ ബാ ഫാദർ ഈസ് പ്രോബബ്ലി ദ ഡിയറസ്റ്റ് ദ ഫാദേഴ്സ് ഇയേഴ്സ് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കാതുകൾക്ക് ഏറ്റവും ഇഷ്ടമുള്ളതായ ഒരു പേരായിരിക്കണം ഈ അബ്ബാ ഫാദർ വൈ ആർ മൈ സെയിങ് ദാറ്റ് മർക്കോസിന്റെ സുവിശേഷം പതിനാലാം അധ്യായം മുപ്പത്തിയാറാം വാക്യത്തിൽ മാർച്ച് ആഫ്റ്റർ ഫോർട്ടീൻ തേർട്ടി സിക്സ് 
we see our Lord Jesus Christ is in the Gethsemane praying with his Father. And in that prayer, he's calling his Heavenly Father, saying, Abba, Father, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. When he was agonizing, carrying all the burden of the entire world, all the universe, at the most difficult of his time, our Lord Jesus Christ is calling his father with that name, Abba Father. The cry out, the original word used in the in the Greek, the cry out, is the word used is a traso. Traso on the Hebrew word on the Traso in the word in it. It is a crook like a crow, a raven. A raven crocky in the word a carrier and the lana in the earth. That is scream or cry out. He gives to the peace its food and to the young ravens that cry. Are they word than the same meaning of the word or three? Cry out, Every gospel has written that with a high, with a uh, Jesus cried out with a loud, loud voice. We are very familiar with that. Psalms 34, verse 6. David says, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard. Out of the depths I have cried out to you, O Lord, hear my voice. Why am I am taking a few minutes to explain that only for one reason. This cry is not that of a sleeping child. We all have raised children. And the and the they will wake up and then maybe they will say, Dada, Mama, that is not the cry he is referred to here. This is when, say, you have an eight year old child. You're going out for a walk in the pavement, and the boy's attention was caught something else. He took off from your hand. He's, he's walking behind you. And the next thing you heard is a big cry, da, 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 da. That is the cry because he fell down and broke his nose and the blood coming out of his nose. That is the cry when we are deep trouble, when we are in the deep need, when there is no one else to help, where we are totally surrounded by, by darkness and the, and the ground we are standing, we feel like it is sinking. We are going down. 
There is no one to help. It is the assurance. God says, and if you have the assurance, the assurance of the Spirit of God, with your spirit, that you are a child of God, and if you cry out, Abba, Father, it is reserved for you. That name, your name is written there, saying that you are entitled to call out on the Heavenly Father when there is no one to help. When you go through a circumstance, maybe a troubling x-ray report, maybe a blood report, 21 days in the hospital bed, not sure what tomorrow is going to bring. It is like the people of Israel facing the Red Sea. They're coming and crying out to Moses. We are going to perish them. The army of Egyptians are behind us. The Red Sea is friend of us. God is telling the people of, tell the Moses, tell the people, I am Yahweh. Yahweh do the fighting for you. You be silent. when we cry out of our Father, our Father is faithful, He is gracious, He is loving, He is merciful. He is faithful to meet all our needs at all, all of our times. I just want to share a little story. I may have said, shared this with you before. There was a businessman who was sent to a foreign country. Probably it was uh, Sri Lanka. Or he could be a missionary or a person was sent. And he had a child who was about eight, nine years old, a, a daughter. He also has an adopted daughter of the same age. But this adopted daughter had some, probably the DNA problem. The, the, the style was not able to assimilate, come together with the family. So the, this girl, the adopted girl, would never call that father, father. She will get around things and call different names or different ways, express her desires. That has gone for many years. And finally, one day, these two girls were playing in the yard, in the outside. And this adopted girl fell down and broke her ankle. The blood came out. She was scared. Immediately, she ran into the house. And came to the father he was carrying in his uh, study room. He said, Dad, I need a Band-Aid. That is the first time that father heard this girl calling him a father with the father's name. His reaction was when he said about to the somebody, not just a Band-Aid, if there would be a CVS store, or a Walgreens in Colombo. I'll buy the whole store for her because that name called father from her was the most precious thing in his life. This may be the same way our heavenly father is waiting to hear from his own children calling him Abba Father. What a great privilege. God has given to us that at the time of our extreme need, we have a place to go and call him Abba Father. Let me move on. The third, then the privileges. One, we are brought into the family of God and we must show the show, the characteristics of that heavenly father. 
father's family. Randavadu, we have been brought by adopted, by the, uh, the spirit of adoption, we have become children of God and we have been given the right to call Abba Father and we must exercise that right with that confidence that I am the child of God. No matter what happens in my life, there is a Father in heaven who is in full charge of my life. He will take care of all my needs according to great riches in his glory. And that is the assurance that we always must have. Thirdly, we have a heavenly Father who is waiting to give us an inheritance. But Paul is telling us that inheritance comes with some suffering. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and join heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I consider the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. We are hires, we are joined hires with the Christ. The promise of the heavenly inheritance that is ours to keep. As children adopted into the family, we, are, we share that inheritance. But in order to share that inheritance, we must also share in sufferings. Why this is important? The concept of inheritance is very important in the Old Testament. Paul here is, uh, is reminding us that the path of inheritance is not an easy one. To make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings in the Vaikinu. Namade Rechai Nagani, Kastanavangla, Tiganya and Akunu, the Yukta Mairinu, and the Ebrai Lekhenakartava of the Ridikinu. Namade Namade Captain Iron and Namade Kartava. David and the Priya Putranaya Yeshu, Logatil Wandapo. I mean, a Kastangala, Tiganya and Akunu, Yukta Mai to David and the Tony. അതുമലയാളത്തിൽ in the footsteps of our master. It is a walk that following our master. If our master has followed through that path, God expects that we also walk in the same path. For as the sufferings of Christ abounds, Christu in the kastangal nyangalil walamnu varindoru for as the suffering of Christ abounds in us, so our consolation, that is our comfort, also abounds through Christ. Paulus Manasalakuri Karim, Christuni went in Nilkumbo, Namada Kastadagalum, Namuka Perigu Vedinai to Namaka Ganavan, I decided him. Kayan Rulaya, the end of the Jodhichan. 
പൗലോസ് നമ്മളോട് പറയുവാനുള്ളത് വി മസ്റ്റ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വെൻ ദി വെൻ വി ഫേസ് ദി സഫറിങ്സ് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാവരുടെയും ജീവിതത്തിൽ നാം കഷ്ടകൾ കൂടെ കടന്നു പോകാറുണ്ട് ഒരു കാര്യം നാം മനസ്സിലാക്കണം ഈ കഷ്ടങ്ങൾ കൂടെ നാം കടന്നു പോകുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ മൈ ഓൺ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസസ് ഐ കുഡ് സേ ദി സഫറിങ്സ് ആർ നോട്ട് ടു ടീച്ച് എസ് എ ലെസൺ നമ്മളെ ഒരു പാഠം പഠിപ്പിക്കാനായിട്ട് കർത്താവ് ചെയ്യുന്നതല്ല ഇൻ അതർ വേർഡ്സ് ഹോൾ ഈസ് ടെലിങ് അസ് ദീസ് സഫറിങ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഗ്ലോറി കംസ് ടുഗെദർ ദെർ ഇസ് എ ഗ്ലോറി ടു ഹാപ്പൻ ബിഹൈൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് സഫറിങ് but the glory and the suffering and the glory is not in a chronological order adu onnu shesham onnai varunadalla ippo nam kashtam sahichu pinnede somewhere in the future namaka glory labhikkuvannalla paulos parayunnathu these sufferings prayar namaka parayanad sai these sufferings these are the raw material to produce the glory in us nammalil devathinte mahattam velipadeyendathinu nammale ruvaantara paduthunaya nammale nammale orumichu raw material site nammada jeevithathe aade aa reethiyilekku kondu varuvanayittu parishuddhaalma we is trying to put together right raw materials so that we can receive that glory this not one after the other it happens simultaneously nammal yohan and suvishesham 17th adhyayathil vaikkumbol karthavinte prarthanayil mathistha prarthanayil karthav parayam prarthikkumbol i have given my glory shared my glory with them ipade ullathaya thanne shishyan mark father the glory that you have given to me i have already given to them there is a partial glory that has already been given to us we are not just waiting for the glory at the end but as we go through the process of the adoption process the drop of the glory the process of sufferings that we are god is putting us together so that we can ultimately receive the final glory from him adathre devathinte aagraham we suffer with him in order to enjoy that glory for we are just a hairs with the christ in the dimensionally michael angelo kurtola ayra katha namak ariyavana oru kathayana ningale orpippanayittu veendu orpippanayittu naan aagrahikkunu because it fits very uh, very well with the uh, with the thought that that i have uh, brought before you it is god's plan is not isolated it is predetermined it is for each individual according to god's plan for two individuals may not have same circumstances but god has chosen the path that we should go according to his master plan for us god has a purpose behind all these things that maybe maybe i'll take a few minutes to, uh, uh, to explain that purpose after we uh, after this story the story goes like this we know this story very well i'm sure michael angelo was one day tucking away with his uh, with his uh, helpers a big piece of a rock a boulder what is this a, a huge stone piece the people asked him what are you going to do with this he said come and summon come and see he took took it to his warehouse he stole this uh, he put it down there put it up there and he started to take his chisel started to work on it slowly slowly he started to chip away pieces away from that stone a few days later they came back what is this i he said come back another couple of months months passed by finally they came and as you know some of you may visited this i have gone and visited this but we were not able to see the real statue 
we were only see the copy of David in, in, in uh, when we went to uh, uh, to see Italy, uh, uh, Corinth. Uh, it was in Venice, I believe. Uh, we were only see the copy. We couldn't see the masterpiece of David. Michelangelo is saying, in order to the David has to come out, I have to chisel away whatever that is not David. David in the Ruba Malata the Muruvenum, E. Kalil and Kutti Kalanyangal Matrame, Uri David in a Porto and Duruana to Sathikulu. The Heavenly Father is also saying the same thing. In order that, in order to make us perfect in the sight of God, there are things need to be chiseled away in our life. God is using many different paths and reasons, many, 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 many things in order to shape us, in order to create within us the right person that he can bring that glory in our, in our life. Devatinda Mahatu Namal Vulipada and Dhin. A Devatinde Ruban Namal Lake Kundware and Dhin. Deva Namal Pandu and Irikinway no other Nam Marana Bogar. Devatinde Alma in the Ratri Namal Hiti Maida Badanad. We are in the family of God. We are children of God. Yet we have inheritance. We are joined hers with the Christ. Namakanalu Ravagas and Namaku in the Beach in Nundu. Avagas and Nam Pravi Kernam and Nundangil. Chala Kasha the Ravanta will could a Nam Karabo and the Avisha my very. Why under the Minish Tulit and Avakil and Yanavasan Penaka Hikin? Why God's purpose? What is the purpose God has behind all this? I talked about three purposes. We are the family of God, and we must have the characteristics of that family. We are children of God. We have the right to call him Abba Father. Thirdly, we are hers. We are joined hers with Christ. And there is an inheritance waiting for us. But we should go through certain sufferings in order to accomplish that inheritance to receive this. Karta Guru Devasam. Karta Vinda Sanitil Nam Nilkumbo. Namakalipik in the inheritance in him. Namakachala Kashal Kura Karnavo and the right one in the very. Yendu and the Chodachal. Devatin with the Shilta Matraman only for one reason. A chapter in the Irvatan Vidamata Vakil Nokiata. Let's read chapter 29. Of Romans verse 8. For whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be confirmed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. David in the Agrahman than the Chodichar, Avin Munnar in Yavareth and the Putran, and Ega Sahodan Mari Ladija than Agrahman. I Why God is doing all these things? There are many privileges that we have. Paul is also talking about the privilege that he is give us the help in our weaknesses. I did not take the time to explain that because of the, the, the time is so limited for us. But there are privileges God has given to us. All this is all for one particular purpose. They within the Agra, they within the Hidam Urigari Matram, I went to Putrana Yeshivinapole, Nam Aitirian on Oladar. And the Kelk and the Priya de Ugadale, in the Rathra Namukabreo and I to Satikimo. They within the Alma, in the Alma, I have the confidence that the God Spirit. And my spirit is in agreement, and I have the confidence I am the child of God. There is a nothing in me that, that the fleshly desires can attack me, and the sinful natures can take me away from that attention, from that relationship, that adopt, adoption that God has given me, through the spirit of adoption, bringing me into the house of the Heavenly Father, making me a child of God. 
and giving me the right to call him Abba Father. And he promised me an inheritance. Why? This is all because one reason, because he wants all of us, every child of God, every believer, we all look like his only son. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. അനേക സഹോദരന്മാരെ അവൻ ആദ്യജാതനാകേണം നമ്മുടെ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ആഗ്രഹം നമ്മുടെ സ്മൂത്ത സഹോദരനും നമ്മുടെ നമ്മുടെ ഇളയ സഹോദരന്മാരുമായി ഒരുമിച്ച് ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ഭവനത്തിലേക്ക് കടന്നു വന്ന് ഞാൻ ആദ്യം വായിച്ച വേദഭാവം നിങ്ങൾ ഓർക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ലവ്യ പുസ്തകത്തിൽ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ആഗ്രഹം ദൈവ അവൻ നമ്മോട് മനുഷ്യരോടുകൂടെ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കൂടാരം അടിച്ച് താമസിക്കുവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ദൈവം ആ വെളിപ്പാട് പുസ്തകത്തിൽ നാം വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇത് ആ മനുഷ്യരോടുകൂടെ ദൈവത്തിന് നിവാസം അതത്ര ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ആഗ്രഹം മൂത്ത സഹോദരനായ കർത്താവുമായി നാം ഒരുമിച്ച് താമസിക്കുന്ന ഒരു അനുഭവത്തിലേക്ക് കടന്നു വരയണമെന്നും ദൈവം നമ്മെ കുറിച്ച് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നു അതിന് കോംപ്രമൈസ് ചെയ്യുന്ന യാതൊന്നും നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുവാനിടയാകാതെ നമ്മെ തന്നെ സൂക്ഷിക്കുക എന്നത്രേ അപ്രസ്തമായി പൗലോസ് ഈ വേദഭാഗങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് നമ്മളെ കുറിച്ച് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ആകെയാൽ സഹോദരന്മാരെ നാം ജഡത്തെ അനുസരിച്ച് ജീവിക്കേണ്ടതിന് ജഡത്തിനല്ല കടക്കാരാകുന്നത് വി മസ്റ്റ് നോട്ട് ബി സ്ലൈവ്സ് ടു ദ ടു ദ ഫ്ലാഷ് ടു ദ സെൻ അതത്ര ദൈവം നമ്മൾ ഇന്ന് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് യോഹനാന്റെ സുവിശേഷം പതിമൂന്നാം അധ്യായം ഏഴാം വാക്യത്തിൽ പ്രകാരം നാം വായിക്കുന്ന കർത്താവ് പൗലോസിനോട് പറയുന്ന ഒരു വേദഭാഗമാണ് വാട്ട് ഐ ആം ഡൂയിങ് യു ടുഡേ യു ഡോണ്ട് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ആ കാല് കഴുകുന്ന സന്ദർഭത്തിൽ പത്രോസിനോട് പറയുകയാണ് ബട്ട് യു വിൽ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദിസ് മെനി തിങ്സ് വി ഗോ ത്രൂ ഇൻ ലൈഫ് വി മേ നോട്ട് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ബട്ട് ദ ഡേ ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് വെൻ ദ ട്രംപറ്റ് വിൽ സൗണ്ട് when we will be taken to glory when we will be with with, with the lord aaj suprabhadatil at that bright morning day we will understand the path we were able to go why god led us through that path we must understand in his prop in his purpose he wants to make us like his holy begotten son only because of one reason it lasts forever adhi logathil kondu avasanikkunnalla nithada mudal nithada vare avanumai avane pole aayi thirnu avanumai jeevikkunna divasathe nokki paarthu undu devathinte makkalai ee logathil jeevipar devan nammal kurichu aagrahikkunu one question we could ask ourselves is this can you believe how difficult it is for the lord to make me look like his son and the kartavine pore ne aakhi thirkendadinu and the kartav sahikenda vanna kashtadal etra maatramana jeevathinte oro paathavugal oro divasam magane vali idavudile nadannulle impashatham kelpichu jeevada kaalam muluvenum enne thende paadil nadathuvan എന്നെ അഭ്യസിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ എൻ്റെ കുറവുകൾ ഓർക്കാതെ എൻ്റെ ബലഹീനൾ ഓർക്കാതെ എൻ്റെ പാപങ്ങൾ ഓർക്കാതെ എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി ഓരോ ദിവസവും എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി മധ്യസ്ഥ ചെയ്ത് എന്നെ സ്നേഹിച്ച ആ പിതാവിൻ്റെ പാദപുരത്തിൽ കടന്നുവന്ന് ആ ബാപിതാവെ എന്ന് വിളിക്കുന്ന പുത്രത്തിൻ്റെ അവകാശത്തിലേക്ക് എന്നെ കൂട്ടിച്ചേർത്ത് ആ സ്നേഹത്തെ ഓർത്ത് നന്ദി നിറത്തോടെ ഇന്ന് രാത്രി ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ നമ്മളെ തന്നെ നമുക്ക് സമർപ്പിക്കാം നമ്മുടെ കണ്ണുകളെ അടയ്ക്കാം ഒരു ദിവസം കർത്താവിൻ്റെ സന്നിധിയിൽ നമ്മളെ തന്നെ ഒന്ന് ശോധന ചെയ്യാം ആർ വി ഷുവർലി ഹാവ് ദ കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ദറ് ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഗാഡ് സ്പിരിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് മൈ സ്പിരിറ്റ് എഗ്രീസ് ദറ് ഐ എം എ ചൈൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ഡു ഐ ഹാവ് ദ കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ഐ ആം ദ ചൈൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ദറ് ഐ ക്യാൻ കോൾ ഇം അബ് ആ ഫാദർ വെൻ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ത്രൂ ദ ട്രയൽസ് ഡു ഐ ഹാവ് ദ കോൺഫിഡൻസ് 
that he is just, just selling away all the unwanted stuff. He's not trying to teach me a lesson that I will look like him because it will last for eternity. They might have. They were not going to be able to do it. 